building in Singapore has taken one step beyond net zero emissions. The Building and Construction Authority has certified the Keppel infrastructure at Changi as a positive energy building, which means that it produces more energy than it consumes. That's the first retrofitted building to achieve the rating. The certification sets a new benchmark as the country strives for a low carbon built environment. The Keppel infrastructure at Changi was once an ordinary heating and cooling system hub for the Changi Business Park. The building underwent a green retrofitting which was completed in May this year. There are now solar panels on its facade and features an entire wall of plants. It now produces about 600,000 kilowatt hours a year of renewable energy, more than twice its annual energy consumption. It's now qualified as a green mark platinum positive energy building under the BCA's updated criteria. This means that it saves not just energy, but also generates over 100% of its energy consumption from on-site renewable sources. Another of its properties, the Keppel Bay Tower at Harbourfront, is among three other retrofitted buildings certified as net zero. The Keppel Bay Tower harnesses all its power through solar panels, but retrofitting a building requires a fine balance between going green and ensuring smooth daily operations. It is much more difficult to implement such technology for an existing operating building such as a 20-year-old Capital Bay Tower where the infrastructure is already in place. Having to implement the improvement works without disrupting the building's ongoing operation also compounded the challenges. Therefore, we had to identify leading-edge technologies that were suitable for existing commercial building to be implemented at Keppel Bay Tower. Almost half of Singapore's buildings by gross floor area have undergone some form of environmentally sustainable development. One observer says going green is likely to pay dividends in the long run and the move to sustainability is likely to continue. I think there are various uh, benefits from the tangible side by having more efficient system or more efficient energy system in the building, you can actually cut down the energy cost. This is most most direct saving. We have seen increasingly stronger kind of uh, emphasis by investor of uh, what they call impact investing. That's when investors back profit-making companies that are green and also environmentally friendly.